So former NBA player Dwight Howard. Now, Dwight Howard is actually playing in Taiwan right now. Dwight Howard's in the news because Dwight Howard was being sued uh, by a man. And in this lawsuit, the man, you know, alleged that Dwight Howard forced him to do fellatio on him. And when we all heard that, we say, what? Oh, what kind of accusation is that? Dwight Howard? And then Dwight Howard lawyers respond and said, no, he didn't force him to do anything. It was consensual. So the moment all of that went out, everybody went to friends and say, boy, Dwight Howard was, was LGBT. He was high. He was been hiding this all these years. So everybody was just talking about Dwight Howard about he was, he was a closeted man. You remember he had a baby. Uh, with, uh, uh, what's the name? Royce Reed. Right. And, uh, you know, she was on the basketball wives at one point in time. So Dwight Howard and everybody asking Dwight Howard about his situation. He's getting very, very frustrated with the general public asking about why in the world were you engaged in this behavior, Dwight, because you portrayed yourself as a straight man. You didn't portray yourself as a man, part of the LGBT community. So Dwight had a response to a lot of y'all who was just utterly shocked and didn't know what he was into. So let's review it. They say you going on dates with dudes, bro. Why the hell do you or anybody care who the hell I spend my time with? That's the problem with y'all people. Y'all worried about who people spend their time with. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. Whatever you doing in your bedroom is your business damn business that ain't for everybody i actually agree with dwight it is not nobody's business but here's the thing dwight when you are closeted and you portraying yourself one way to the public and you back door oh boy that was a word to say and you are back door doing a lot of lgbt behavior and people find out why are you getting mad sir you should have been open to your lifestyle it's a people are part of the LGBT community. It is a big thing and nobody's going to, you know, condemn you if that's what you're going to do. But people have more of an issue with you down low brothers straight up. You was a down low brother and you got exposed That's just bottom line. So now you want to have an attitude, but let's continue. Everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say anything about what you're doing in your fucking house. It's your house. You ain't got to explain that to nobody. No matter what they say, they can say anything. Who gives two shits? Y'all too damn nosy worried about what I'm doing in my bed. Hell, the people who know what's going on in my bed, they know what the hell going on with my bed and what the hell I do in it. Yeah, Dwight, but word on the street is you were forcing dudes too. That's the word. And that's not consensual. When you forcing dudes, you big old... You know, uh, 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 so what you just 6'10, 6, 6'11 6, dude, whatever I tell he is, and, and you forcing dudes, that's what people are alleging that you did. So, on top of you was being a down low uh, uh, man, you sing up here forcing dudes. That ain't for everybody on the internet. That ain't for no blogs. That ain't for no websites. I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. That ain't nobody's business where I put my wood at. Y'all just weird. If you want to know what people doing in their bedroom and who they messing with and sleeping with, you are weird. You're the weird one. Oh, shoot. Y'all heard about that, Dwight. They said Dwight was in a oh, text message on a guy. Then who cares? Who cares who I was text messaging? You just mad because I want text messaging. Yo, ugly. That's what it is. Worrying about the wrong stuff. Focus on you. Worrying about who in somebody's bed and what they doing in their own bedroom. It ain't your bed. You ain't gonna never get in my bed. So stop worrying about it. Yeah, but also the person that, you know, did the lawsuit said there was an individual by the name of Kitty who was a trans person. Um, that Dwight was fooling with as well. Now, Dwight, this is the issue. 
with you being closeted and now you being exposed. The fact is there are guys like you that go full with women and these women a lot of times don't know that you're getting in bussy. Okay. These women don't want a man that engage in bussy. They don't want that. And you fool a lot of women. Sometimes women get different diseases, etc., because you was out here participating in a, 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 a lot of bussy action, sir. So that's a, that's why people are talking about you. What about the women that you have slept with that did not even know that you like men didn't even know this about you because if they, they if they knew this about you, people would have came out and say, Oh, we already knew that about him. That's, that's not nothing new. That's what they would have said about you. If they already knew, sir. So no, don't get mad that you got put out there on the front street. Now they said that the person that did the lawsuit told Dwight, look, I won't say nothing. If you, if you, if you broke me off a, a little, little change, well, Dwight, I mean, is out there now. Don't get mad. You should just, if anything, you should just stay quiet and not say nothing. Let your lawyers talk for you. I don't know why y'all like to get on the internet and talk. When you hire a lawyer, you follow the advice of your freaking lawyer. And most of the time, the lawyer going to tell you, don't talk about anything. Don't post nothing about nothing. I'll talk about it. Right. But you making it worse by you're talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all just don't learn. Just keep your doggone mouth shut. And how way people are, okay, they, if they'd have heard your lawyer talk about it, they'd have been, yeah, people have been talking about you, that's for sure. The videos will be made. But then, then people don't care about it no more. That's really what it is. Most people's attention span, Dwight, lasts about a week, maybe two weeks. After two weeks, Dwight, nobody ain't going to be talking about you. They can kill it. They can say, oh, Dwight, oh, okay, yeah, I heard you got exposed to the LGBT. Yeah, okay, cool. You know, maybe see him at the Pride Parade. I, that's about fuzz is going to go with people. So, you know, you, you getting way too bothered by that. But let me know what y'all think about old Dwight Howard here. You know, he got put out there on front street. You know, my, I, I say this, live your truth, whatever that may be. If you're a part of the LGBT community, just go ahead on and be a part of it. Don't, don't, don't hide. 